What's up? My name is Jay Pro. I'm a light heavyweight boxer with over 10 years experience boxing training. I'm also an NYC based boxing coach. And today we're going to talk about how to hit a heavy bag. Okay, so the first thing that we want to understand when we're about to hit a heavy bag is that we want to snap our punches over pushing them. What we see with people who are hitting the bag for the first time, people have a tendency to push their punches out. It's another way of saying you're kind of punching and leaning with your body weight, leaving your weight out there. So instead we wanna snap our punches. Meaning I wanna connect with my target and then quickly bring my hand back into my chin just as fast as I threw the punch. Not only does this create a whip effect that has more force, but it also puts me in a position where I'm ready to defend and make it quicker to throw combinations. Okay, the second thing that we wanna understand is that our power in boxing comes from the lower body and core. I don't know if you've ever taken a yoga class, but in yoga, they talk a lot about pressing your hands down into the ground, into the earth, to support your body weight, to stabilize your position. I think about driving power the same way in boxing. When I want to load up on a power shot, I'm transferring my weight and I'm using my foot to pivot and feel myself pressing off the ground to drive that energy. If I'm just standing flat and trying to drive from the upper body, I'm not going to get the same force as if I'm relaxed and pivoting my feet. You want to keep your upper body totally loose and relaxed. So a tip to help with this is that when you're punching, keep your upper body totally relaxed right up until you make connection with your target. Then you tense up for that split second and then bring your hands back in. Okay, so now we can talk a little bit about movement, how you should be moving around the bag. Little pro tip, is to stay relaxed, take it slow, and focus on balance. A lot of times we see beginners running around crazy, total chaos, but that's not really a good way to train and build your technique. You wanna stay nice and relaxed, throw your punches anywhere from one to three at a time, and then practice moving around in between. So you can work in and out of your bag, you can work around your bag, throw your combo, and then move. Quick recap. We wanna snap instead of push. We understand that power comes from the lower body, so we wanna pivot our feet, transfer our weight, and we wanna deliver that shot with a nice relaxed upper body right up until the moment of impact. We want to move around our bag, throwing our punches anywhere from one to four at a time. So the last technique for now, and this is probably the one that I have to remind my beginner clients of the most, is you need to breathe with every single punch. In boxing, we use short, crisp exhales coming from the chest and solar plex area. This is super important to fuel and to give you the energy and oxygen that you need to go through your boxing workouts. It helps to make a noise to trigger that exhale. I always say the weirder the better. My breathing sounds like this. I have a nine year old I train with. He goes, yo, Gert, yo, Gert. That works too, but seriously, don't forget to breathe. I think sometimes we get into a fitness class, we feel self-conscious and we do. It's just gonna stifle your progress. Life is too short to worry about what strangers think about us in the moment. You wanna breathe on every punch. It's gonna make all of these techniques easier and help you to develop quicker. So now that you have these key techniques down, I'd recommend going back and drilling them one by one for about a minute each on your bag. Whether you're using a heavy bag bob, a heavy bag, or my personal favorite, a reflex bag, I wish you all the best in your boxing training journey. Remember, there's no substitute for consistency, repetitions, and building muscle memory with your bag. 
Don't forget to subscribe for more tips and free weekly workouts. I'm dropping a new one every week. I hope this was helpful and I hope to see you again real soon. Heis, 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 heis.